Hello. Good evening. Gustavo, Redis, and Floor are the first ones. Hi, guys. How are you feeling today? I'm good. How about you, teacher? How are you doing today? Pretty good. Feeling fresh. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Can't complain. How about you? Uh, well, well, I'm just right at home. Uh, maybe five minutes ago, and I take something to eat in this moment. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, got it. Bon appetit. Thank sure. you. Good evening. Good evening. Be sure. Hi. The midterm test is on session two, right? The midterm test is on session two. What do you mean? Uh, in the online English Incorporativo. Today is the day. Yeah, but it's, it's on session two, right? Uh, yeah, we're going to review everything today and uh, then you can do whatever you are pending. Uh, but today we're going, we're going to take the time to review everything today so that you feel, I mean, you, you are clear about what you have to do. Right now I'm on session three, unit three. Product line, but I don't know what to do there. But I think we're not there yet, so how much is wait? Yeah, you have to wait exactly. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of review today. Good evening. Hello, good, good evening. evening. How's it going? Long time I haven't seen you, Brenda. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I I almost forgot like, about Brenda's face. <laughs> How are you feeling, this? Brenda? I'm fine, thank you. It's good to know that. And thank let's you. see. We have Blanca, Roxana, Jackie, and Laura. Okay. So the mayor, well, there are more girls than boys right now. As usual, right? <laughs> like in the world. Women are taking over the world. That's right. Uh, okay. So Diane is going to keep her camera up because it's raining a lot where she lives. I saw in the news uh, that it was raining uh, some air, a lot in some areas in San Salvador. Yeah, too. Too. And now in Samuel it's not raining. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's strange because it's been raining every single night. <laughs> so we send you some rain. So that's what happened. We had enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the problem here in San Miguel is that the cities, I mean the cities, the, the streets become rivers. For real? Yeah, there's a big problem with that. That, been, happen on, that happens on Sonsonate, but on the center. Yeah, so here it's on the main streets and uh, in a lot of neighborhoods, the same thing. So we have an issue with the sewage system. Yeah. Teacher, good night, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. I am driving jet and I'm connect in 10 minutes. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. You're still driving. We're going to wait. Great. Thank you. Me too, teacher, but I'm listening. Good evening. Well, you're driving a different car, right? 
Uh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> You're not driving together. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we had a really interesting session. Uh, it was really good, in my opinion. Do you remember what we were doing yesterday? Freddy's? Yeah, the presentation. The presentation is about what? About uh, our father that will work on, on a group. Uh, on a group or on a team? On a team. That's right. Okay. You work yeah. with your team, okay? Uh, on the, not on the product. Not on the product. I mean, exactly, right? Not exactly on the product, but you were working mainly on the development yeah. or the preparation for the testing, right, uh, of the product so that people or the users could try it out and give you their opinion. Because of that, because of that, uh, we created well you created the the forms the surveys right where people are going to express their opinion and um i suppose that by now we have some results we have some results jackie share the link on the on the whatsapp group i think uh diana too and it was Floor. Floor and Jackie share their link in the WhatsApp group so that you can help them with the with with the answers, right? For the survey. So uh, I don't know if um, Jackie, you already have some answers. Kanari, welcome. Arvin. Uh, mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. 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 Are you ready to learn? Teacher, I have a question. Oh. We have to finish um, the unit two or unit three in the platform. That's what we're going to study right now. We're going to review uh, some information. So uh, that means that uh, we're going to review everything so you don't have any any doubts about what you need to do and um if there is anything that you want to ask also okay we're going to have the chance to i will i mean you have the chance to ask and i will have the chance to answer right and or clarify whatever question you have and let's see what else what else Mm. Wow, see this writing and reading, writing and reading uh, Wednesday, we're going to do a, a little bit of that too, okay, and um, anything else, I guess just that by now, I'm going to take the attendance right now and then we're going to start with the first activities for today. So Beatriz, are you there? Currently not yet, so we'll continue with the next one. Mariela. Blanca. I'm here. Brenda. First. I'm here, teacher. Okay, now I hear you. Uh, okay, Diana. Diego is not here. Floor is driving. I'm here. I'm, okay. But I'm here. Yes. Okay. Francisco. Present teacher. Ready? I'm here. Sometimes I feel like I'm working on a call center when I put on my headphones. Um, let's see. The next one is Laura. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jackie? I'm here. Arvin? Present teacher. Jennifer? 
not here yet. Uh, we'll continue with Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo. Yes, I'm here. Miguel. I'm here. Mario. I'm here. Orlando. Hello, hello. Janari. I'm here. And Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. So we're ready to get the party started. Okay, speaking of party, um, remember that today we're finishing the week number three. Believe it or not. So we're missing just two more weeks. That's 10 days or 10 classes and goodbye. Sayonara. You will be moving on to the module number three. So that's amazing. Now we're going to go on and right now I am going to share the, with you a link where you are going to access, okay, um, in order to test your knowledge. It's not Trivia Thursday, okay, it's not Trivia Thursday, but there is something there that um, has to do with how much you know, right, about some topics. Oh, wait, wait a second. I think I, I got confused. And it wasn't this link. Now, uh, yesterday we had a conversation, uh, not only the teamwork, but also we had a conversation about the uh, friends and friendship. That was the topic. And also we had the chance to practice uh, reading out loud with, um, with the reading about the tips on how to create a focus group, right? Uh, so we were working in, in pairs, paying attention to fluency, intonation, stress, and uh, pronunciation, obviously. So um, this is pretty short, let's say. It just has 10 questions. Okay, so it's, it will be really fast. And let me go on. Okay, so here's the link. Um, check it out in the chat. Open it, and then we're we're going to start with the, the mini quiz. Okay, so right now we have uh, seven people. Miguel Centeno, her prize. What? Who got that nickname? Okay, uh, we have. Ah, so you had the opportunity to select a funny name. Okay. Francisco, Fabio, Blanca, Rolanda, Gustavo, Miguel, Per Price, Jackie, and Sunflower Stilton. Okay, we got Jay Miranda. 10 people. Okay, we need eight more. Okay, Diego is in the house. Welcome. Juan Jose is there. Good. I got my tea ready. So today is going to be a great class. A, D is there, I, I suppose Lady D. It's raining, <laughs> okay. Uh, Turnip Tarson, Irma Nahara. We got 16 out of 18, so that's a good number. So who's missing, who's missing? Uh, Brenda, did you already join the game? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see who's missing. Well, Laura is driving and Flor is driving, so okay, so we're ready to go. Now I'm going to start. You got exactly uh, 
some seconds to answer. That's 30 seconds to answer. The question is, spot the lie. One of these is not true. So you have to select the one that is not true. Uh, so tomatoes and avocados are fruits, not vegetables. Uh, Neptune is no longer a planet. Water covers 70% of the earth. Okay, time is up. And okay, so the correct answer or the one that it was a lie is the second one, right? So uh, Neptune is no longer a planet. Neptune is still a planet. The one that is no longer a planet is Pluto, right? So we continue with the next question. Okay. So which of the following statements are true? So two of these ones are true. One, it is impossible to lick your elbow, your own elbow. Uh, there's no word in the dictionary that rhymes with orange and Saturn is the largest planet by surface area. Two of them are true. Okay, time is up. That's the leaderboard. It's raining. Okay, so the first two were were uh, were true. Okay, it's impossible to lick your own elbow, and there's no word in the dictionary for that rhymes with orange. Right. So we go with the next one. Uh, yes. Three. Spot the lie. One is not true. French fries originated in France. Sound does not carry in space. Hippopotamus milk is color pink. Time is up. Okay, nice. So the one that was a lie is French fries originated in France. So they were not originated in France. Why are they called French fries? I don't know. Google. There's, there's new teacher. Huh? New formula. I think, I, I think French, the they're called the French, French fries. fries. French. It's the, it was the last name of the of the person who created them, I think. No, the French okay. French was created in Sevilla, Spain. Mm -hmm. Because when arrived uh, all the the ships from from America, uh -huh. uh, they lost all this this kind of, of um, vegetables. Ah, okay. So here we go with the next one. Thank you for the explanation. Can you spot the lie? One is not true. The large intestine is the largest internal organ in your body. An ostrich eye is bigger than its brain. And centrophobia is the fear of color yellow. Centrophobia. Which one is not true? Can you spot the lie? The largest intestine. Hey. Mm -hmm. didn't, you didn't choose one. <laughs> okay, you have to think quickly. Okay, let's see, Rolanda is coming up. So the large intestine is the largest internal organ in your body, is the lie. So which one is the longest one? The largest one, Google it. Okay, let's continue. Uh, next question. It's this. Which of these statements is a lie? One of them is a lie. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. Australia was never a British colony. There are seven continents in the world. Okay. 
two, one. It's the skin, the, the largest organ. No, internal. I don't know which one it is. Um, but yeah, in general, the largest one is a, is the skin. Australia was never a British colony. That was a lie. So there was a time that it was. Next one. I will tell you about the continents later. Okay, spot the lie. One of them is a lie. The largest dinosaurs were vegetarians. The driest place in the world, the Atacama Desert in Northern Chile is located next to the biggest body of water and 60% of the earth is covered in water. Ah, this is one is easy. One second and time's up. So the, the results of the question are, okay, more people are getting good answers. 60% of the water, okay, is covered, of the earth is covered in water. So it's not 60, right? It's 70. Next one. Two, one, go. But the truth, two of them are true. Okay, the legal factory, the earthworms, or the opposite size of dice always add up to seven. Okay, so the answer, the answers were the legal factory and the opposite sides. So the earthworms don't have two hearts. Okay, next one. We're getting to the last one. Which one of these statements is a lie? Can you spot it? J is the 12th letter of the alphabet, of the English alphabet. The most commonly used letter of the English alphabet is the letter E. And a word, phrase, or sentence that is the same both backwards and forwards is called a palindrome. Time's up. Okay, this is really fast. This is Toretto style. Fast and furious. Okay, let me check. Answers. <laughs> you have to, to start counting the letter that you put your fingers right like A, B, C, D. Okay, to get if it was number 12. So the correct answers were those ones. Okay. J is uh, is not the 12th letter, it's a lie. Okay, so let's go with the next one. One go. One of these statements is a lie. Which one? Humans share 98.8% of chimpanzee DNA. Penguins can fly. All the earthworms have both male and female parts. That was a piece of cake. Okay, so penguins can fly, obviously. <laughs> it's not true. Okay, let's go on. I think this is the last one. Two of these statements are true. Two are true. Olympic gold medals are actually made up mostly of silver. Roger Federer holds the record of most Wimbledon single titles and golf originated in Italy. So, which two are true? That's the question.
teacher. Hello? Maybe you can help me share the link again because I have problem with the internet and I lost oh, I think it's not possible to join one once the test is in progress, but don't worry, we're about to finish here, so. Uh, okay, Jackie Morales and D is going up. So, yeah, we finish. Okay, let's see the results. The golf originated in Italy, that was not true, okay? So the top three is Jackie, Diana, and Blanca. Girls power. Maybe somebody will say that they use Google, right? <laughs> Google power. <laughs> they didn't have time to investigate in Google. So as you can see, the majority of the mistakes were in the first questions, like especially questions two. I have mistakes, five. so I don't be in, in Google. From one to I'm five the are, were the most difficult questions, right? So um, you can take a look, right, the, about the answers. Okay, so Neptune is no longer a planet. Um, the first two were true about the elbow and the were in the orange, that rhymes with orange. French fries is a lie. The large intestine is the largest organ. It's a lie. I wonder which one it is. Which of the statements is a lie? The Australia was never British, 60% uh, of the earth. Legal and opposite sides. And then we have J is the 12th letter uh penguins can fly it's not true and these two were right golf originating in italy is false um uh, and that's it okay so congratulations reactions for the winners please so virtual claps for you i'm going to give you a little trophy let me check yeah okay so um it's somewhere over the rainbow here it is. Okay, so you got a traffic. Now, uh, we're going to move on. And as I told you, right, today we have um, the review of the of the previous content because the in the midterm. Okay, the midterm. So let me share the screen quickly. What's that? I have no idea. Somebody's listening to English. That's good. Okay, so uh, that's session 15, the end of the week three, as I told you. And uh, what are we doing? We're going to review uh, product testing vocabulary. We're going to review verb agreement, right? Subject verb agreement with uh, complex subjects. And we're going to review transition words and product testing in general, right? Not only the vocabulary. So um, as somebody was asking, somebody was asking if we like, what are we supposed to be doing by now, right? So first of all, uh, it's about the midterm. Uh, that you know that the deadline it's by today okay uh however however uh tomorrow you still have some time okay to catch up with the assignments and uh something important you have to remember also is that as we are having one extra week compared to the other levels right uh, we also need a little more time to move on right now we finished with the unit number two so you should be finished with unit number two on the platform we're going to start unit three uh tomorrow okay we're going to start unit three tomorrow so whatever is about unit three on the platform you can try to do it of course that's uh that's okay you i mean there's nothing you can lose uh by trying but uh, we are going to start uh, working on the topics tomorrow okay so um i'm going to share the the website with you in a moment and just want to check that the
the internet. Okay, one question. Well, okay. Questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, doing the, um, the Taria, or how is the name? The um, Taria, okay? Homework. The what? You hear me? You hear me? I just heard Tavia or Tablia. Not sure. Homework, I think. Homework, homework. Ah, the homework. Homework, homework. Okay. yeah, yeah. I was trying to do the, the homework and I I'm do until the session four, I think, because I don't see the the number of the unit. So I leave like this or I need to uh, do it again. Okay, uh, about the exercises that you complete or the assignments that you complete and maybe you don't get a good score, let's say, you can try to do it again. I mean, there's no problem. Uh, for example, tonight, uh, I am going to be checking everything again, like how much progress you have had. There are some students that almost finished everything about the course online. Uh, there are some that already worked on the unit one and they finished unit one. That is the homework uh, one and two. But by now, by now, you should be... Uh, done you should be done with the assignments or the homework from unit number two that is all about product testing so um i am going to that would be i'm going to share the screen now yeah it's ready now let me go here okay so this is the first one right you have it uh that is a 1.1 so um, in this assignment, everything that you have to do is to choose the name, right, of the steps in the process of developing a new product. So it's basically about vocabulary, okay? That's what I was telling you, right? We have vocabulary in order to check if you remember some basic terms. So uh, number one, once the idea has been completed, the product must be taken to a location where customers can get it. Is that idea generation or commercialization? Commercialization. Commercialization. Uh, brainstorming, gentlemen. Is that idea generation or lunch? Idea, idea generation. generation. Okay. Uh, ladies, senoritas, number three, you have to ask for the customer's opinion. Is that concept development and testing or idea generation? Concept, concept development, development and testing. Concept development and testing. testing. Okay, so we continue with the gentleman. Uh, so in this stage, the research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. Test marketing, Test marketing or commercialization. Research is investigation, test. right? So it's a test. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, everybody, it presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Launch. 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 Okay, so then you send, right, the, the answers. In my case, I can see the answers. Um, so you send them and then you go on, right? So correct. So I got 10, 10 for the teacher. Uh, you have the video, the assignment 1.3 here you have to select the best option this is about grammar right so um we work on the present perfect or the perfect forms um so remember that here we have two forms which auxiliary verbs do we use for the present perfect do you remember There are two that we use. Have and has. Have and has. When do we use has? We it and When it's the he, she, it, right? The third person, singular. Third person. Singular. In the affirmative, in the question, and the negative, we use has. In the three forms. Yes or no? 
or has or has it? Has yes. Yes. So the affirmative we use has. Question we use has, and for the negative. Hasn't. Yes. hasn't 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 or has not right the contraction is hasn't very good and then we use have for the rest of the of the pronouns right so that would be i you we and they um now something that we that is also important when we study the the present perfect or the perfect forms or the per perfect tenses uh, is that we use the verb in a particular form do we use the verb in the base form? Do we use the verb in the past simple form or we use the verb in the past participle form? In the past participle form. In the past form. participle. So if we think about the order, that is the third form, right? The third form of the verbs. So for example, I am going to say some verbs, some verbs. And you are going to tell me the third, I mean, the third form or the past participle form. Okay, what is the past participle of the verb go? Goes. Gone. 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 What is the past Gone. participle yes. of the verb take? Taken. 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 What is the past participle of the verb give? Gave. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. The verb? Given. 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 Yes. Given. Given. What is the past Given. participle of the verb? Mm, drink. Drunk. 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 Is drunk. 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 Correct. And what about the verb sing? Sing a song. 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 Sing a song. song. Okay, so it's like Chinese, right? Samsung. No. Uh, so it's, in this case, it's sing and song, right? Song. Song. S U N G. Song. Um. One more. What about the verb buy? Bow. Bow. Bought. Okay. Bought. Bought. One more difficult. The verb cut. 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 It's the same form, right? There is no cut. modification. Cut. Cut. Yes. Cut. Okay. So that's how, what we do in what we use in the perfect forms. Okay. Or in the perfect tenses. We use the auxiliary have or has in the present perfect plus the third form of the verb. That would be the past participle. So is there a secret to memorize this? No, you have to learn how to conjugate the verbs, especially the irregular ones. How can you study the verbs? By groups, by categories, right? That can help you. The verbs that change only one form, the verbs that change the two, the three forms are different, and the verbs that don't change anything, right? So you can study them in that way. So for that, I, I share with you one document, right? So you have that list of verbs. And let's suppose that you don't have that list or you forgot where the list is. Uh, remind me about it so that I can, I can share it with you, okay? So, um, I can do that through the WhatsApp group, probably. Um, let me check if it's possible to share it with you here in the chat. Yeah, I think it, I, I can find it easy. Okay, so... Um, mm, here it is. Common irregular verbs grouped. Okay, so I'm sending it through the chat. Every, you can get it there. You can click on it to open it. You can download it. If you click on the three dots, right? Open file, finding folder. So there you have the most common uh, uh, irregular verbs in the different groups, right? So we have the verbs that don't change. The second group, uh, second and third group, 
the forms of the verb, um, the past forms of the verb are similar. For example, the verb lose in the simple past is lost and the past participle is lost. The verb um, sit, right? Sit, sat, sat, keep, kept, kept. So it goes like that. Um, then for the, that will be a group number two. The second and third form of the verbs are the same. The only difference is the base form. And then the last group is the three forms are different. So in this case, we have the examples of uh, speak, spoke, and what is the past participle of, of speak? Spoken. Spoken. Okay. Okay, what about break? Broken. Break, broke, and? Broken. Broken. Correct. What about the verb um, begin? Begin. Begun. Begin, begin, begin began, begun. and begun. Begun. So you know that the more verbs you know, the more you can express your ideas because we need verbs for action in the sentences. So yes. the verbs, the verbs give life to the language, right? So uh, imagine a language without actions, without verbs, that would be really, really strange. Like I, bathroom, now, um, sorry. I mean, that would be strange, right? That was Amelia. That was Amelia, yeah. <laughs> so uh, forget, have... forget. How do you conjugate the verb forget in the three forms? Forget. Or got forgot. 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 Forgotten. And forgot and forgotten. 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 There you go. Yes. I have a doubt. What is a doubt? But uh, not is about that um, ver uh, verse. Uh, mm -hmm. In the next um, uh, homework, uh, number 1.5, I have a doubt with, the, with some um, sentences. Uh, sentences, yeah, but number three, four, and five. Uh, number one and two, it's okay, but uh, three, four, and five. You I, have doubts. I had problems, yes. Okay, so don't worry. We're going together. We're going together. So um, let's just, oh, what happened? Wait, I clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go on and complete a couple of these exercises from the 1.3. Uh, I need a volunteer for number one. Thank you so much, Gustavo. Irma, number two. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Number one. Me the first. Okay, it's has. Give me the complete sentence, please. Le Lindsay has not been to France. Lindsay has not been to France. And number two, Roxana. Okay. Uh, have you finished your homework? That's the question that I have for you. Have you finished your homework? <laughs> have you finished the exercises? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and obviously the answers are correct. Now let's go on to the next one. Uh, we have the 1.5. That is one of the of the ones that Juan Jose was asking. So with number one and two, you said that they were not difficult, right? So no. uh, what do you have for number one, Juan Jose? Uh, number one, um, after singing two song, um, the um, uh, performs performs uh, uh -huh. did a dance did a dance did a dance. Okay, don't forget that the punctuation is important, right? The period at the end, the comma in the middle. Okay, we use a comma in the middle when the the first clause or the first part of the sentence starts with the adverb right in this case we're talking about adverbs of time right after before okay so if this is at the beginning we use a comma in the middle if this is at the end for example the performers did a dance after singing two songs in that case we don't use a comma why don't we use a comma why don't we use a comma if we if the if the sentence is in the opposite order? Anybody can tell me? 
the performers did a dance after singing two songs. I'm going to write it with letters. So why don't we use a comma in this in this case? Because after make a comma. <laughs> because after becomes a comma. What is the function of after in this sentence? What is that doing? Connect the sentence? It's connecting, right? It's connecting the sentences. That's correct. Connecting the clauses, right? To make a whole sentence. So this is a connector in, the, in this position, right? In the middle. So we don't need a comma. Excellent. So uh, number two. Who can try it out? Number two. I will select Brenda. Hello. Um, sorry. Before answering the phone, he grabbed a pencil and notepad. Before answering. Okay, before answering the phone and then the rest, right? Comma, uh -huh. uh, he grabbed a pencil and a notepad. So before answering the phone. So in this case, what is the topic that we are studying? Are we studying the perfect forms? The person perfect? No, right? So we are studying? Adverb clauses. The reduction, right? Reducing the adverb clauses and we transform them into adverb phrases. So for reducing uh, an, an adverb class, we need to follow some steps. What is the first step that we're going to, to follow? What is the first thing that we need to do? Let's do number three, following the indications. You already saw the answer, but anyways, uh, what is the first thing that we need to do? Obviously, we, need to we, have are, the we, same we identify uh -huh, that we have the same subject. Excellent. So in this case, the subject is I and I. So yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. So if the subject is the same in the two classes, it is possible to make a reduction. So let's make a reduction. Number one, after we identify that, we eliminate what? The noun. The noun. The verb be. The verb be. The ver yeah, the first noun that is he. And so we eliminate the subject. Okay? Sorry, the we are in the. Uh -huh, number three. So be while we eliminate I, uh huh, very good. Was away in college. So we eliminate this. Uh huh. That's the first thing. We eliminate the subject. Uh, if there is the, if we have the verb be in any form, we eliminate the verb be. Correct. So in this case, was is one form of the verb be. It's in the past. So we eliminate both the and subject and the verb. ing. And the other rule is we add ing to add ing to the verb. In yeah. this case, we don't have another verb, so it's not possible to add ing. So mm -hmm. we say, while away in college, right? While away in college, I stay with my roommate's family during one spring break. That is the correct answer, while away in college. Now, in the number three, I mean, number four, it is possible to make a correction, right? To, to add the ing. So when... We eliminate she because it's the same as Carla. So it's the same person, right? She the and Carla is... Uh-huh. The bird to be is there. Yes, goodbye bird to be. So we eliminate both. No she and no is. And this already has ing, so we don't have to add it, right? So we say when working, when working at home, comma, 
Carla takes her youngest child, youngest child to school in the morning. And that is correct. And the last one, as you can see here, we have the example. We eliminate he, because it's Jack, and we eliminate was, because it's one form of the bird to be. So, although hurt, Jack managed to smile. That is the correct answer. So, Juan Jose, is that clear for you? Yes, okay. Excellent. Anybody else who has questions or comments about life, about the exercise? Teacher, one question. Like, uh -huh. for example, if I say, while I was drinking coffee, I was reading the newspaper. So, if I would reduce that sentence, would it be, while drinking coffee, I was reading the newspaper? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. <clears throat> So in that case, you transform an adverb clause to an adverb phrase. And what is the difference between a clause and a phrase? In the clause, we have a, a verb. In the phrase, we don't. So, uh, I mean, in the clause, we have the elements. We have the subject, we have a verb. So it's okay, it's, 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 it's complete. But if we eliminate the subject and we change the verb to ing, it's not a verb, it becomes a noun, so it's automatically a phrase. Um, so if I say, for example, drinking coffee is, um, well, I, the example that, that Brenda mentioned, right? Uh, well, drinking coffee, I was reading the newspaper. While drinking coffee, that's not a sentence, that's not a clause, it's just a, an adverb phrase. While drinking coffee, so drinking is not, exactly a verb in that case and we don't have a subject so for that reason is that we make a reduction and then we eliminate all the drawings and move on to the 1.7 so we finish with the reduction of uh, adverb classes right and then we have vocabulary some definitions, some vocabulary that we were practicing with the SWOT analysis. So I am going to ask one volunteer. In this case, will be Janari. Janari, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Janari, what does SWOT yes. stand for? SWOT stand for? ¿Qué significa SWOT? What does SWOT stand for? No. Oh, you have internet connection problems. Okay, don't worry. So, Flor is going to help you. Flor, are you home or are you still driving? Floor. Okay, we have somebody raising hand, that is Diana. So, Diana? It means strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Do you agree with Diana? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, we continue with the number two. Uh, Beatriz, they are examples of strength. Okay. Um, I think it's focus, punctual, and proactive. Focus, punctual, and proactive. Okay. So these are some of the characteristics that people look for in an employee, right? In a company. So it's focus, it's punctual, it's proactive. Number three, what are is an example of threat? Uh, Miguel? It's uh, competitors. Competitors, yes. Number four, uh, Diego, they are examples of weaknesses. Um, responsibly. Irresponsible. Irresponsible, uh, selfish. And selfish. Okay, so irresponsible. Irresp this is 
Oh, this is somebody. strange because you write it with the letter I, but you pronounce it with the letter A, right? So you, you don't say irresponsible, you say irresponsa. Okay. So uh -huh. just for you to remember, right, that you write it with the letter I, but you pronounce it with the letter A. So okay. don't ask me why, okay? But that's the strange thing about the language. Now, okay. here's an example of opportunities. Uh, Rolando. If Rolando's... I'm here, I'm thinking. <laughs> You're thinking, that's good. Thinking is good. I guess is if my boss has meeting, I can waste time just listening. Okay, and then we show the answers. So <laughs> ah. I can waste my time listening. It's not an opportunity. <laughs> okay, I mean it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to relax, but not not something productive, <laughs> right? So. Um, if a country cuts tariff, a car manufacturer can export its cars into a new market, right? So <laughs> increasing sales. Now we know what Rolando does when his boss has minutes, right? Mm -hmm. And listen to music or relax for a moment. I mean, there's a, there's a moment that everybody looks for a relaxing time at work. So yeah, we don't, we don't have to blame Rolando for thinking that way. <laughs> Now, let's go on with the next one. That's 1.7 and uh, 1.9 has to do with definitions, right? So, uh, number one. Mariela, can you please help us to read the definition and ask somebody to tell you the correct answer? Provides an analysis of the company advantage over its competitors. Over its I competitors. Uh -huh. Is opportunities. Opportunities. Do you agree with uh, Mariela? No, I don't agree. Oh, no, I think that is another. Which one? Spread. Strength. 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 Okay. Strength. Uh, they can be similar, but there is a difference, right? So the key word, the key word here uh, is that we say the analysis of the company's advantages is something that you already have that is good about your company or about your products. So it's a strength of your product over the competitors. So uh, for example, if uh, let's suppose that um, I don't know, uh, I'm going to say that Pablo wants to join the basketball team and I want to join the basketball team, but Pablo is very short and I am tall. I know that my 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 height is, is an is an strength. It's a strength that I have. It's a strength that I have. Com compared to Pablo, right? Because Pablo is short. In a basketball game or a basketball team, they look for tall players, usually, right? There are some exceptions of short players that are really, really good, but usually they look for tall players. It's a characteristic, so it's a strength that I have, I am tall, okay? Now, uh, consider areas in which the companies are at a competitive disadvantage. Uh, Fabio, What's the answer for this one? Well, which one? None of them? It, uh, no, sorry. It was the second question, right? Yep. Okay. Consider areas in which the companies are at a competitive disadvantage. Weaknesses. Okay, weakness. Um, for example, if I have a delivery service and I try to compete against, um, let's say, Hugo, uh, I know that one disadvantage, one weakness that I have is that I don't have an app. So I just have a WhatsApp and, uh, and phone calls, but Hugo has an app. So they have 
a strength and I have a weakness. They have an app and I don't have an app. So that's the reality, okay? For that reason, I don't have delivery. I teach online, not delivery classes. <laughs> now we continue with number three. Uh, Blanca, thank you. Okay. Definition? Are a list of unexploited markets or business development? Development. Okay. Development. Okay. I think that it's opportunities. Opportunities. Yes. Unexploited markets or business developments. If, for example, you live in, let's suppose that Freddy's, right? Freddy's lives in Alcahutla. And in Alcahutla, he observes that people are, I mean, there are no English academies in Akahutla. And Frey says, okay, I know English, I have a good level, I have some books, I have a computer, I have internet, maybe I can offer classes online, English classes online here in Akahutla. So in that moment, Fred is observing an opportunity, right? Because there are no academies in his place. So uh, that is the, the example that I can give you about opportunities. Number four, I'm going to choose another volunteer that will be Jennifer. Thank you. Jennifer? Just a turn. Number four. Explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological environment, still, and regular study factors. Okay. Uh, that is threats. Threats or threats? Threats. 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 Threats, yes. Because treats are what people give in, uh, what people do in Halloween, right? Trick or treat. So they Truco. give, yeah. Treats, treats, uh, well, actually trick is a truco, right? But treat is a, what would that be in Spanish? I don't know. Like a gift? Yeah, yeah. like usually it's candy, right? They When you say a treat, okay, they give you some candy. So, um, yeah, that would be like they say truco or trato truco in Spanish, I think. Now, um, truco. Truco? okay, okay. So, um, what is a SWOT analysis? Okay, so one more volunteer for this one will be ten, 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 Jackie. What is a SWOT analysis? SWOT so analysis. Analysis is a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive position and to develop a strategic planning. Strategic, okay, strategic planning, planning, that's correct. Yeah. This word is a little bit tricky, okay, strategic, because if you want to say estrategia, you say strategy, strate. But if you want to say estratégico, you say strati. So it's a different, it's a different sound for the same letter, okay? So um, a strategic plan, that's correct. So uh, basically that's, with that assignment, okay, you're done with everything has to do with SWOT analysis, with uh, the grammar that we studied. And, okay, I see uh, a shining forehead. That's my video, I think. So let me check. Subject verb agreement with complex subjects and the assignment, right, for the part two. So here we start with the subject verb agreement. Uh, because of that not everybody has done it, I'm just going to give, do one exercise, okay, here. So um, here you are supposed to read the conversation and type the appropriate phrase into the correct space. Mr. Bellis, good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our later, latest product testing task. Ms. Sajala. So uh, I like about working with you all 
is the effort you make to do the job well. So what is the correct answer here? Uh, one of the good things, some, deci some difficult decisions, the efforts uh, refer or one of the most important factors. The volunteer for this one is Harvin. Okay, teacher, the answer is one of the good things I like about working with you at least the effort you make to do the job well. Okay, with you all, correct. Con todos ustedes, with you all. Okay, so um, when people are using English, they don't say you all, they say you all. Hey, you all. Uh, so that's for you to know that in in, in spoken English, they use that. Hey, you all. Um, so I want to have a meeting with you all. You are like, with you all? Who's you all? It's you all. So that's an informal way to say you all, you all. Um, now, uh, so you're going to follow the indications, right? Then read the statements and choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. So subject verb agreement. Is it correct if I say my mother and my sister is planning to go to Metro Centro tomorrow? Is it? No. Correct? No. My mother and my sister is planning. No? Both are planning. No. Why not? If I say my they mother are is plural. She and my sister is she, so. It's plural. Because they is the subject. Ah, so it's because I mentioned two people together. So it's not she, it's they. If. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, correct. So if I say my sister is planning, it's correct. If I say my mother is planning, it's correct. But if I say my sister and my mother, I am not talking about one person, I'm talking about two. So it's not one, it's not single, right? It's not singular, it's plural. So they are planning, correct. So that's the same thing for the exercise uh, that you have to complete here. Who hasn't done any of the exercises of the examples that we are doing right now? Who hasn't participated so far? Freddy, you're next. So, number one. Mr. Cortez. Where are we at right now? Number one. Number one, some of the participants. Mm -hmm. okay. Some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Have or has? Have. Have not arrived yet. There's a mistake here with because there's a typo. All the, the two words are together, but yes, have not arrived yet. So that's correct. Now, I'm going to take the, the attendance quickly. I'm going to pass sharing. And I uh, want to check who's still here. So Beatriz, are you there? I'm here. Okay, so in this case, in order, instead of saying here or here I am, mention your favorite um, drink. Okay, your favorite drink. So Hola. It, can, it can be a prepared drink. Okay, a prepared drink um, that you might order at a, at a bar, for example. You can say piña colada, okay. So let's go, number one, Beatriz. You have to choose one. Um, coffee, I think. Coffee, okay, Mariela. Coffee too. Coffee too, okay, with sugar or no sugar? Just kidding, okay, don't worry. Blanca? Michelada. Michelada, Brenda. Ah, coconut water. <laughs> okay, water. Ah, coconut water. Coconut okay. water, coconut water. Yeah. Coconut water. Okay. Then we'll continue with Diana. Chata. Or chata. Okay. Diego. Diego. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Okay. Propaganda, right? I'm I'm going to be like Cristiano Ronaldo. Water. Drink water. Okay, next one. <laughs> uh, floor. Pizza. Pizza. Chicha. Ah, chicha. Okay, that's correct. Okay, chicha. But there are different kinds of chicha, so 
the with pineapple, I suppose, right? Okay, uh, Francisco. Yeah. Lemonade. Lemonade. Okay. When you go to Alegria on the weekend, you can drink a lot of chicha. So that's a place where you can go. Okay. Next one. Uh, lemonade, Freddy's. Coca Cola. Okay. Mm. Laura. Jackie. Coffee. Coffee. Jennifer. Coffee too, teacher. Coffee too. Jenny. Uh, Juan Jose. And orange juice. Oranges. Gustavo. Coffee. Always. Always. Oh, okay. <laughs> Miguel. Chocolate. 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 Okay. <laughs> Roberto. Fabio. Orchata. 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 Okay. Rolando. Arrayan. Refresh. Arrayan. Uh, juice. Okay. Got it. Uh, refreshment, right? That's correct. Roxana. Milkshake teacher. Milkshake. Okay, that's really nice. Okay. Yes, Excellent. So let's go on. Now we already sure the, about the drinks. Uh, teacher, you can mention me. Do you want? What? <laughs> I did. Oh, I don't think. Wow. No. Didn't I'm alive. Say. Didn't I say your name? No. Okay, Yanari. Sorry. I don't see it for you, teacher. No, come on. From, from don't yesterday. Say that. From yesterday. No. The thing is that Brenda, I... the music. Brenda, the music. <laughs> The thing Whatever. is that sometimes I say your name and then I know that you cannot hear me because of the connection. So maybe I disconnected, but I thought that I said it. Okay, she so disappeared, Yanari, sorry. teacher. She disappeared. Shame on me. It's Amelia's fault. Uh-huh. No. no. Um, coffee. Coffee. Okay. You're the yeah. part of the coffee team. I love coffee, but if I have to choose one, I will probably say mochaccino. I love mocha and coffee. That's so good. I don't know why. Don't surprise me because you are from San Miguel, so you take the curtido with the mayonnaise. So no, no, it's incorrect. <laughs> it's not mayonnaise. It's salsa. It's not mayonnaise. The curtido no has with black mayonnaise. Sauce. How is possible? I don't, yes, but... I don't eat it. I don't eat it that way. So, no, I, I love coffee. I drink coffee almost every day. But if you ask me about the taste, I think that Moncachino is really good. So, now let's continue. Um, the assignment or the task 2.2, right, is related to that. Uh, the next one, it's about testing, right? So we have a, a, the definition that you can see here. We already started this about the different types of testing uh, or methods, the strategies or methods that you can use or the different kinds of tests. Uh, the 2.8, uh, well, over here we have the transitions of addition. So what are some of the, the four words that we studied? Do you remember the four words that we started for addition? Tell me you remember. We started four. Two of them are a little bit more formal. Two of them are a little bit more casual. Moreover. Moreover, good. Furthermore. Furthermore, excellent. In addiction. In addiction or in addition? Addition. 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 <laughs> okay. You're thinking about coffee, right? Addiction. Addictive size. Uh, and <laughs> we have besides. Yes. Besides, correct. So, um, yeah, coffee is an addiction. I mean, coffee is an addiction. <laughs> because of the coughing, right? So that's that's inevitable. 
And you know that you are addicted to coffee when you have a headache after many hours not drinking coffee. So uh, <laughs> let's go on with the next one. But please don't drink more than three cups of coffee. They say the maximum you can have a day is five. So if you go more than that, be careful because of your kidneys, especially. Your teeth, yeah, a little bit, but it's just the color. Now, let's go with the next one. Um, we had the 2.11. This is related to um, on, well, on scramble. So it's vocabulary that we already started, okay? I'm not going to tell you, but number one is targeted. Um, so um, you just have to put the words in the correct mm -hmm. order, right? Mm -hmm. So tar, well, with the capital T, targeted, targeted, right? So that's what you're going to do in that exercise. Then we have the focus group, right? Focus groups and the midterm. Oh, wait, they haven't uploaded the video yet, but it will be there, today's video. Um, then the next one, is read the article about focus groups and then answer the questions below, right? There are some questions here about the reading. And about the reading and also a more exercises, okay? About what we already started in the previous exercise, in the previous units, right? So units one and two. So everything is here, as you can see. Um, then you go to the next one. This is 2.14, okay, 2.14. And that's it. Uh, let me check. Ali was driving, or Ali was driving very fast yesterday. Okay, we go, go on, go on. This is part one, this is part two, part three, part four. This is the midterm, right? Um, so the previous one was a review and this is the test. So that's it. This is what we're going to start tomorrow. So um, you don't have to go there yet, okay? If you want to start working, it's up to you. But so far we don't have any, any class, we don't have any video, we don't have any material to study, only the manual, but no classes about that. So, uh, having said that, having explained you that, uh, do you have any doubts, any questions? This is what you have to be finishing, okay? We finished yesterday, so you should be finished with the exercises. Uh, so I am going to be updating, as I'm telling you, right? After I finish today's class, I am going to be uh, checking everybody's progress one more time and updating, updating the grades. Okay, so um, I am Batman, so I work at night. Any uh, questions or comments? You don't believe me, but I'm Batman. Salvadoran version, with no money, with a lot of motivation, and coffee. So, enough. And a dog and a cat. And bilingual. Okay, so um, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I don't have doubts. I know that Yana, Yanari has reason not to answer, not to talk to me right now, but but <laughs> for the rest. I'm sorry, Anari, that, that, that I skipped, I skipped your name. You I, I think so it was Rolando's fault. Huh? What? How do you say solidario? Generous. Mm. So we, we are generous with Anari. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so it's a complot. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Mm, normally when I go to work, I drink two. In the past, I used to drink three because I worked all day. So I had coffee all day in the place that I used to work. <laughs> so only three. Another word that you can use for uh, that can be also supportive. I think that that would that would match a little bit more with the uh, with the context. Supportive. So you support Yanari. Uh, uh, so supportive. I'm going to write it in the chat. Uh, only three. Yeah, that's the maximum. Uh, maybe once in my life I have tried. I have drunk more than three, but normally just two. Uh, Then my doctor told me, stop. <laughs> um, but as good Salvadoran, when I felt better, I, I, I started drinking coffee again. So um, let's check. No questions, everything's good. So excellent. I have the best group ever. Now I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to share the screen because as Probably you were not here yesterday or you didn't hear that at the end of the class, we agreed two things. One, that we're going to take the group picture today. And two, that on Friday, we are going to have the spelling bee with the vocabulary, with many words uh, that we have studied or practiced during the first two units, okay? So this is these are this is the list that I shared through the WhatsApp group. So you have it there. You have it there, and um, we're just going to practice a little demo, right, of what we're going to be doing in the in the on Friday. So uh, I'll go in order, one by one. Wait a second. Okay. Beatriz, how do you spell strength? Now you can see it, but in the, the day on Friday, you are you are going to have your camera on, uh, not looking on the cell phone or, I mean, just looking at the camera, like if you are looking to me in the eyes, right? Um, and then you're going to spell it just from what you remember. So right now you can see it because it's practice, but in the, on Friday, you're not going to do it. So Beatriz, how do you spell strength? S T R E N G T S T H T H T E H. Ah, uh -huh. so you missed one letter. Next one, Mariela. How do you spell brainstorming? B R A I I N S T O R M I N G. Is R or R? R. R, correct. Blanca, how do you spell weaknesses? Blanca, Stephanie. Sorry, I, I thought that uh, I. You watched BTS know. videos, right? No, I, I thought that I. Turn on the, the microphone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she was looking for the word in Google. Okay. No. okay. Um, the, yeah. the word, it, it's, it's in the screen. <laughs> it's Why just, you playing? It's playing with you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Weaknesses. Don't worry. Don't worry. He will forget about that one day. <laughs> w E A T -E N E S. I don't know how to say it. K K K Keiko K K Q K K or K K is correct. Okay. W E A K N E S S E S. Okay, another form that you can that you can use when you're spelling to a uh, I mean, the same two letters, you can say double, double S, E, S. It's with the, the same with numbers, right? You say double, double, three, one, two, okay? So next one, Brenda, how do you spell 
uh, come up with? C O M E U P W I T H. Yes. Uh, Diana, how do you spell idea screening? I D E A S C R Double E N I N G. Correct. Uh, Diego, how do you spell positioning? P O S I T I O N I N G. I N G. There you go. Uh, floor. Yes. How do you spell manufacturing? Um, M A N U F A C T U R I N G. I N G. There you go. Uh, Francisco, how do you spell development? Francisco. Hello, hello. We lost contact. Hear? Yeah, Me, now I can hear you. Yeah. Chair? Yes. Uh, development. D. E. B. E. L. O. P. M. E. M. E. T. E -T, e -T. E -T. okay, that's that's correct. Yeah, E.T. is extraterrestrial, right? So, no. Next yes. one, Freddy's. Uh, How do you spell uh, opportunities? Oh, double P O R T U N I T I E S. That's right. Uh, Gustavo. How do you spell business analysis? Uh, B U S M I N E S W -S, S I N I L Y S E I N S. Mm, nope. In this case, is analysis uh, is A A A. A-N-A-L-Y-S-I-S. Uh, Y-S-I-S. Okay, so don't worry. This is practice, so it's, it's not going to affect your score. Next one. Uh, Roxana, how do you spell disadvantages? D-I-S-A-D-B-A-N-T-A-G-E-S. Right, okay. She's she's like Speedy Gonzalez. Next one is Jackie. How do you spell product testing? P R O D U C T T E S T I N G. I N G. There you go. Harvin, how do you spell? Furthermore, furthermore, F U R T H E R M O R E. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Jennifer, how do you spell everybody's favorite word? A specificity. Jennifer? Jennifer. Can you hear me? Now, yes. Sorry, the, I, I, audiphono doesn't work well. The audiphono, the, <laughs> the, the, the earphone. The, the, yes. Okay, A specificity. S P E C I F I C I white white or why white I don't know only why only why 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 yeah why 
There you go. Uh, Miguel, you're next. Wait a second, I don't know. No, after Jennifer is Juan Jose. Juan Jose, how do you spell addition? Addition, <clears throat> okay. Um, A-D-D-I-E-I-O-N. Good. Next one is Laura, are you home? Laura, yes, are you I am here. Yes, okay. How do you spell appropriate? A P P R O P R A I A I T E. I devoured. Okay. Uh, I like the way that you take things. That's 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 the attitude. Okay. Um, so A. Okay. The last five letters okay r r i, I a, a t e e okay there you go okay um miguel miguel yes teacher how do you spell competitor okay uh c o m p e d i t -E. O R R. Okay, Fabio. How do you spell target audience? Target audience. T A R G E T A U D I E N C E. That's that's correct. So target. Don't forget it's target. Target. Uh, pronunciation. Target. And then we have. Uh, Yanari. Okay. Yanari and then Rolando. So I don't forget about you. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. How do you spell? How do you spell prototype? I think you got problems with the connection again, Janari. So, but I know you were going to do it well. So, Rolando. Hello. How do you spell test marketing? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. R O it sounds a little strange, but funny. Why? She's coming from Mark. Yeah, she's trying to contact, <laughs> to contact us. I know. Yes. Careful, careful. Hello, <laughs> you can help. Now yes. Now yes. <laughs> Do you want help? Mr. Robot. Like a robot. <laughs> Yeah, your voice sounds robotic when you have uh, connection issues, right? So people just hear, I mean, they have two options. They hear just parts of what you say or they hear your voice like that, right? A little bit robotic. <coughs> uh, it's about the connection. And Rolando, it's a, the word for you was test marketing. T-E-S-T-M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G. T I N G. Okay, so uh, basically that's all that you have to study, right? Only 30 words, practice them, spelling them, right? Um, of course, you need to know the pronunciation because you're going to use them sooner than later in your life, in your work, right? So uh, you have to know how to pronounce the words correctly, okay? Don't say the teacher told me that the pronunciation was, uh, I don't know. Uh, Treads, for example. Treads. <laughs> the, teacher, the teacher said that the pronunciation was uh, strange. And I was like, no, I didn't say strange. I said strength, right? So um, let's go on. So no questions about the vocabulary or the activity that we have on Friday? It's clear. No, teacher. Could you share the list? 
Yes, I share that in the WhatsApp group, but I can send it here in the chat too. So you have, you can download it quickly. Uh, okay, so that's basically what we had about Friday. Um, let me go back here. Vocabulary, spelling B words, here it is. Okay, so there you, ha uh, it is currently in use. Ah, so I have to close it, wait a second. Okay, there you have it in the chat. And now we are going to move on to the exercise. So uh, as you don't have questions about the topics that we already studied in the unit one and unit two, and you know that you have to be done with all the exercises and the midterm, okay? Because the midterm is about the, the first two units. So you can take it and pass it, get a good score. Uh, as I told you, right, tonight I'm going to be updating the scores, uh, all the grades, and um, I am going to be finish checking it, uh, finishing checking on, well, tomorrow morning. So that's, that's uh, those are the news that I have to share with you. Let me check, Francisco has some connections, connection problems. Uh, okay, about the attendance, I was checking the attendance and the majority of you are doing well, right? So you're, you have attended the, the majority of the classes. Uh, if you have skipped some classes, please try to attend the rest of the sessions. Remember that after today, we only have 10 more sessions and that's it. So you need 80% minimum of the attendance to uh, move on, well, to get the, the, the diploma and to move to the next module. So uh, as you can see, time passes by really quickly. So right now we're talking, we're laughing, we're uh, learning about this. And probably in some month you're going to be done, right? With the, all the levels and you're going to be in the advanced level with no problem and finishing, right? All the programs. So, Take advantage of the time, right? Don't, uh, don't give up, even if you're tired. Remember what some people say, right? Don't stop when you are tired, stop when you are done. So that's a good uh, reminder, right? It is good to take some seconds to take a deep breath, get a little bit of water, but don't stay for too long, okay, doing that. And now, uh, what I'm going to do next is just to share, well, to dictate something to you as it is writing. I am going to, I need you, you need to have your notebook ready. So to write down what I'm going to say. And then we're going to check. Okay, use a reaction if you are ready to copy the information that I will dictate to you. Okay, use a reaction, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, get, get, get. You can use a computer if you want, you can type, that's okay. But writing is better because you don't have a corrector there. Okay, here we go. So, um, the title, the title for this is, wait a second was here, I lost it. Okay, here it is. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service. Okay. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor is the second factor okay the same thing right the title and then the sentence starts with the same words market demand for a product or a service you can just use a quotation right so you don't repeat the same is the second factor that a business owner should consider 
is the second factor that a business owner should consider Okay, a business owner should consider when pricing a product. When pricing a product. Okay, period and continue. The law of demand, the law of demand law like lawyer law right is that there is an inverse relationship is that there is an inverse relationship the law of demand what is that there is an, an, in, an inverse, inverse relationship, an inverse, inverse, like opposite, like reverse, inverse relationship, relationship between demand and price, between demand and price. Demand and price, between demand and price, period, and start a new line, a new paragraph. Um, as prices fall. Excuse me, the last uh, part I, I didn't write. Between, right between demand and price. And price, and then period, and you continue in, the, in a new line, okay? In a new line. Okay. As prices fall, as prices fall, comma, demand rises. Demand rises. Rises. <clears throat> and as prices rise, and as prices rise, comma, demand falls, demand falls. Period, and continue, demand falls. Okay, demand for your product is just demand for your product is just is just is it's just as important to consider is just as important to consider to consider when setting a price when setting a price when setting a price as the costs of production as the costs of production the costs of production period and that's it so we stop there okay the paragraph is longer than that but right now because of uh of time okay we're going to stop there and i need you to take a screenshot of the slide that i'm going to share with you right now okay later you can compare and check how many words you got right or you got wrong hopefully you're going to have more 
right answers than wrong. So uh, let me share it with you right now, quickly. So I'm going to show it to you quickly. Check your, your paragraph and check these paragraphs. Okay, that is what I was dictating to you. So place a little line or a little check or X in the words that you need to correct. So that gives you an idea, right? Yeah, it was just market. That's right. Okay, so time is up. You already checked the... Teacher, can you put the other slide? Yeah, wait a second. I'm going to show you that right now. I just wanted to add that screenshot. There you go. So, um, yeah, I was taking a screenshot of the read theory because um, there are just two people that already uh, moved on on the readings. And I want to give you just a little indication about that. Okay, so, um, Okay, so basically that's it, right? So this is something that we're going to study later on, okay? The, the market demand for a product or service. You are familiar with it, but we're going to learn more about it later. So as, I, as you were seeing, right? This is the graph that I got from the website. So far, only uh, Diana and Roxana have been able to move to the next step. So what happens here? You were taking some, some quizzes, you were answering some questions, but you didn't finish. You didn't get to the level where you start getting points. So for that reason, it's necessary that you take some time, you finish all the pretest, and then you start with the readings that will give you the points to start checking your progress, okay? Uh, probablemente no han terminado el, el, el pre-examen, el pretest. Y por eso no pueden moverse ya los readings que van a sumar los puntos. So it is necessary that you take some time, please, uh, to, to read, to complete the questions. Uh, I have 18 people, so that's great. I have 18 people here. Uh, the link of the platform of reading. Okay. So that is... The website is right here. Can you send it by by WhatsApp? Sure, but it's basically just that retheory.org. And um, so remember, this is not evaluated. This is an extra uh, resource that I created for you, okay, in order to practice reading. Because when you read, you learn a lot of new words. You you 
learn about how the people in English use the, the structures, right? How they connect the sentences, how they use the language, because the way that you read, the way that you, is the way that you're going to speak, right? So uh, it, if you improve your comprehension, obviously your reading comprehension, there will be a moment that your listening comprehension is going to be improved as well. So everything is connected, right? Um, and reading is one of the best ways to, to learn another language. So um, that's the purpose, that's the purpose. And now as we are uh, finishing, I just want to mention that the next person for the extra session is, I don't know, Diego, are you, the, are you here? Yes. Okay, so I want to know if you could stay uh, for the last 10 okay. minutes, if it's possible for you. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So, um, then we have, let me check, Laura, maybe you can stay for tomorrow's session. And I want to ask, Jennifer, but I think that she was in the last one. So, um, okay, like, okay, teacher, tomorrow with me. Okay, it is my turn. What and, I uh, hear my name, yeah, yeah, but that would be later. So, right now, uh, tomorrow we're going, to, I'm going to say with uh, with Laura and on friday maybe you can stay okay and then we continue you. with uh gustavo francisco juan jose diana uh brenda jennifer but then stay the last friday yeah i mean uh, there are some names that appear two ah, times okay. there are some names okay. that appear ah, two okay. times because there are 25 days and only around 20 students so five names are going to be okay. repeated uh-huh but I will tell you one by one, okay? So when is your when is your turn? Now, uh, quickly, I'm going to go back to the presentation to uh, because Jackie and Floor, I don't know if you already got some information from your survey. The people that send the links, do you have some information about the survey? Do you collect some information? No teacher. Oh, yes. No. Nobody no has teacher. answered. I, Nobody. I, I answered. I answered some surveys yesterday, so you have my answers there. <laughs> okay, so then the, yeah, so the rest, yeah, please check. And the people who have the link over there in the WhatsApp groups, take some moments. It's going to be probably just three minutes to answer the survey about the products that your classmates created in their teams. So um Today we're closing with the first part of the of the manual. As you know, the manual has exactly four units. We finished the first two units. Uh, we started, this is going to be like a flashback, right? Right now to finish the class. So we started with a discussion, with a conversation about the uh, speech masters, right? Uh, prototype, vocabulary, right? The, the different steps to, to create a product. Now we know that it's not just, ah, I have an idea, I create a product and I offer it, right? I, 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 I start making money. No, it's a long process. It takes at least eight different steps, okay? And some of the things that uh, you also have to consider when you are uh, creating a product or you want to start a business is your, the target audience, uh, the prototype that you're going to create, right? Uh, the manufacturing process and the positioning, right? Of your, of the brand or your product in the market. So that's something that comes later. Um, so we started- Oh my God, I have six answers. <laughs> you got six answers, that's good. So you can share that in a moment. Oh my goodness, wait a second. I'm going to go back quickly. 
So we had the uh, the SWOT, right? We had the analysis, the product testing, that was the unit two. We had the trivia, we had the picture, uh, the subject verb agreement, right? With complex subjects, uh, with some one of, uh, the first, a number of. So that those are some of the rules that we already started. Uh, vocabulary, the different types of tests and methods that we can do, that we can use for the research and the, for testing the product, obviously. Uh, the groups that we made or the teams that we made, uh, testing new products conversation, uh, the variables, the Papa sandwich, uh, basic rules to organize a focus group, right? Tra the words of transition, but in this case about addition. addition. In addition, yeah, we had the spelling just for you to introduce that topic, uh, transitions of addition, right? So here they are. Uh, moreover, in addition, furthermore, and besides, those are the four that we studied. Uh, disadvantages and advantages. That was an example for you to write down a little paragraph of 10 lines. Uh, the two types of samples, targeted and random. Competitive threat and unbiased, right? When you have to consider if something or someone is partial or impartial about your product. Uh, the picture of the week two, session 12, where am I? Reading, focus group reading, team presentations. We practice reading out loud and uh, was an evidence of what you were presenting yesterday. Okay. Uh, okay. We had the practice. I wanted to share that with you right now and it's over. So uh, we have just three more minutes. Uh, Diana, I don't know if you want to share a little bit about your results. Hello? Nope. So if there are no, uh, if Diana doesn't answer, so please help your classmates with the survey. Send the link again to the chat if necessary. And right now, okay, Diana is there. So she's got six answers already. How many pets do you have? The majority said one, two, or three. Okay. What kind of pets do you have? 50% uh, said dogs. Ah, we have cats and other. Okay. Have you ever lost a pet? Yes. Okay. Nice. Did you find it? Yes, no. Oh, three people found it, three people didn't. That's so sad. Do they use leash? Yes. How often do they walk your pet? Every day. Once a week. Okay, once a week. Is necessary enough? Okay, five people said yes. Would you like to have an app? If ah uh, sorry if your health is okay, good. Everybody got that one. Mm, no. Okay, connection problems. <laughs> Still not use it. What do you think is missing in the app? Yeah, these questions were a little bit difficult to to answer because people didn't really try, right? Will you pay twenty nine ninety nine per year for this app? Three people say yes. Three people said no. Would you recommend our product to your friends and family? Uh, yes, people, four people say yes. Okay, thank you. So you see, this is uh, what happens. Later, you can download the Excel document. So you have everything in, 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 in like a graph. Um, so let's turn on the cameras, guys, uh, for the picture to remember the end of the week number three. And you can say, I survived. Freddy and Emilio. Okay, so I see three, four, five. That would be 14 people with the cameras on. Jennifer, a long time no see. Francisco, Laura, Yanari, I'm so sorry, Yanari. This will never happen again. Please forgive me. You love Sammy also, please. Consider no worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Gustavo is there. Excellent. We're just missing Diego. Okay, ready? 
set normal picture like the graduation picture just a little smile okay wait the crazy one is coming Okay, so the crazy picture, that is not so crazy, but yeah. Okay, one, two, three. There you go. Look how crazy Juan Jose is, he took off his glasses. So, uh, <laughs> the same for Gustavo, right? So let's check. Uh, but I didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will show you. I will show you the pictures tomorrow. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I think I, yeah, I can show it to you right now. Yeah, he's right there. You see. <laughs> so I got that that one. Diana's face is a little bit crazy. Okay, I don't know what Blanca is doing there. And so um, that would be all. And thank you so much, guys. It was so cool to have this review uh so we analyze everything that we have done everything that we have learned and now we're ready to move on to the next step right that is the unit number three so tomorrow we start with that you can take a look at the manual right to have an idea so tomorrow you are an expert before we start the class um uh, and remember that i i am there right to help you out in anything that you need but you need to do your things too, right? That is to complete the exercises, the midterm, um, so that I can catch up, right, with the, with all the assignments. Okay. Arrivederci, everybody. Au revoir, Monsieur de Mademoiselle. Au revoir, Ademé. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bonne nuit. Ayonara. Sayonara. How long farewell. Aloha. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao, bambino. Bambino. <laughs> Ragazza. And then I don't know the other one. <laughs> I forgot. Pizza. <laughs> Macaronis. <laughs>It wasn't possible for you to turn on the camera for the picture, right? No, yes. Okay, uh, you have my camera, the camera. I, is, I remember. It's broken. Yeah, it's broken. So. Pero eh, se me cayó la, the computer. What do you say? Se me cayó. My computer mm. fell, fell off or fell okay. down. You can use both. Fell down. Fell down, yeah. Fell off the table, for example. Fell off the table, fell off the desk. Um, Okay, so Diego, uh, this is your moment to ask any questions, any doubts, or to comment on anything that you have okay. in your mind. Yeah, uh, teacher, uh, with respect to the homework and activities, I, I, I can't uh, do I can, I can't. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't done. I haven't done because the I. I don't have the user uh, the. My username in my. Uh, he may use my. Username in my uh, password. In my password, uh, don't don't let me uh, don't let me uh, entrar. Login. Login to the platform. And I, uh, and I and I report uh -huh. uh, to the admin administrator. Administrator, yeah. The case, but but I don't uh, I don't have a, a a solution. A solution. Yes. Exactly. Uh, but I try. I try. Uh, I try to 
to do the all activities, the unit one and unit two in in these two days. Okay, okay. So um try to try to contact right them uh, try to contact them again tomorrow morning early, right? So that they know uh the situation. Uh I am going to tell them too. Okay, I'm going to refer that too. Uh, you could, I mean, you should have mentioned that to me a little bit earlier, right? So that I could have helped you. But anyways, we, you can still, uh, you can still work on that. Uh, there are no, I mean, the exercises are not so complex. Let's say there are not so many things uh, that, I mean, to do, like you could catch up with that in one day probably. So okay. uh, I will take that into consideration, okay? Uh, but it's good that you tell me so that I, I know what's happening. Um, okay, about the topics that we studied, um, as I was showing, I don't know if you saw that I was showing the exercises on the, on the platform. Uh, <laughs> is, there, is there any of them that's, that's a little bit difficult for you? One that uh, maybe you have some problems or some questions about. Uh, today I see every every example. Do you explain the the exercise? And I uh, and I'll be clear. Uh, that I have to do, that I have to do the, the, the exercise, the, uh, the unit one and unit two. Okay, got it. So, um, well, basically, uh, if we have to summarize everything uh, as I was doing uh, previously, the most relevant topics that we studied um, related to grammar specifically because vocabulary okay. I think is a little bit easier. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the transitions of addition. This is easy. I think it's just using these words to add more information to, to what you are saying. Uh, and then, um, Let me check. I think it was the here. Uh, this can be a little tricky, a little confusing because, uh, for example, when you say, uh, well, the first, the first of the decisions, when you see the word decision, you think that is plural and this, the verb is going to be plural. But in this case, the subject is complex. So okay. the subject is the first of the decisions. The five words, they compose the subject. So the words that determine that this, the, the subject is singular are the first. Okay, this, okay. the first. So uh, the first is one, right? So the first of the decision. So it doesn't matter that the word is in plural. What matters is that we have this in singular. So okay. that determines if it is singular or not. One of, for example, one of the good things. So you see, one of the good things I like about working with you all, this is the subject. Yeah. So one of refers to only a singular thing or singular exactly. person. For that reason, the verb is going yes. to be singular too. Singular, okay. Mm -hmm. And then when you use some or a majority, we refer to plural. And normally, okay, normally we use uh, these two, a majority or a number uh, or some with plural verbs or plural words. So some difficult decisions are 
a, a majority of product developers. So the subject is not, uh, I mean, when you say a majority, you don't refer to one thing. You refer to a group of things. A group of, so it's okay. plural. Uh -huh. So it's plural and you say prefer, not prefers. And that's about the subject verb agreement. Wait a second, I'm going to move to the last one. There's just one more topic that you need to pay attention to that it's, uh, that can be a little bit difficult. Okay, uh, the past participle forms that we were studying, uh, this is, has to do more with the verbs. If you know the conjugation of the verbs, for example, sold is the past participle of which verb? Okay. Sold is the third form, but what is the verb in the base form? So. Uh -huh, for sold. What is the present? Uh, the present is, is uh, I have, uh, oh. how do you say vender? Uh, I forgot the, the word. I try to remember. Uh, it is start with the letter S <laughs> and finish with the letter L. Finish so. Sell, that's correct. Sell. So you need sale. to know, you need to know uh -huh, sale and then sold, right? Is the past participle. The, uh, the past is sold. Yeah. So you say okay. sell, sold, sold. So you are going to use the third form. Okay. For example, uh, a lot of companies sold have. If you pay attention here. Uh, okay. Companies, okay. Have or has. What is correct uh, here? A lot of companies is, uh, have, very good. A lot of companies uh, have, okay. and the verb is grow. What is the past participle of the verb grow? Grow, grew, grew that's the simple past. And the past participle? That is the third form. Uh, First form is grow. grow. Second form is grew. grow. And the third form? Uh, is grown. Grown. Okay. So a lot of companies have grown because grown. of well thought new product lines. Yeah. So this is important, okay? That you know yeah. that we have to use the auxiliary have or has or the negative, right? Haven't okay. or hasn't. And the verb in the third form okay. is not grow, it's not grew, it's grown. That grow. is the form that you're going to use. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, so that's what you have to do. Uh, complete the exercises, study the vocabulary. And if you have problems with any of the exercises, because the other topic that is really difficult at, at, if, at the beginning is the reduction of the classes, but we practice exactly. today, right? So, uh, yeah, okay. of the classes. Okay, so Diego, thank you for staying. I hope that uh, you can solve the problem tomorrow and you can start uh, working on all the exercises. Yes, uh, I hope to, uh, oh, I try. Uh, to poner mal día. Catch up. Catch up. Okay. Catch up with with everything. With everything. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Catch up with everything. There you have it. Catch catch up with everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much for staying. Have a good night, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks, uh, teacher. Okay, goodbye, Diego. Goodbye, good night. Uh, good night.